Hi guys, I'm uh, new to this whole YouTube thing, so forgive me if uh, the video's a bit bad. Uh, I'm also filming it on a GoPro, and the sound quality is not great on a GoPro, but I will do my best. Um, also, apologies for the poor lighting. Uh, I'm in my garage, uh, and with the mini on its side, I can't have the garage door fully open. So uh, you'll just have to bear with me for that for now. Um, uh, my name's Josh, uh, we're currently about seven weeks into lockdown in the UK uh, and it's prompted me to crack on with uh, doing the world in and get my money back on the road. Uh, I've had the car about two years, uh, I bought it in a state which is a shell. Uh, with lots of repairs needing doing to it, uh, I'll insert some pictures here. Um, and uh, this is it. Uh, so, I don't really know what these videos are going to entail, but we'll uh, just go with it and see what happens. Um, so, the last couple of weeks I've been uh, basically cutting out all the rust that was in the car. Uh, I've still got a bit more to do, but I'm probably about 70% of the way through, which is quite nice. Um, my original plan wasn't to do it myself, uh, I was going to get someone else to do it. Um, but as these, uh, as we're in lockdown, I figured I'd have a go. Got the panels, why not? What's the worst that can happen? Uh, and actually, it's not, not been too bad. Um, it's, uh, it's my first time of welding. Uh, any kind of body panels. Uh, I do a little tiny bit of welding at work, but not not regularly, and not I'm by no means an expert at it, uh, and certainly not used to welding uh, thin panels. So that's been a steep learning curve. Um, but it's been I've enjoyed it. It's been good, and uh, hopefully it continues. Uh, and I'm looking forward to being able to put the rest of the car back together and get it back on the road. Uh, my target is to try and get it on the road this year, uh, so 2020. Uh, obviously everything's been cancelled this year so there's no no car show deadline or anything to, to try and aim for but it'd be nice to have it on the road this year. Uh, summer would be nice but I think that's possibly a bit optimistic. I've still got quite a lot to buy for it. So um, It's a 1988 Mayfair one litre in blue. Uh, it came with probably probably about 70% of the parts uh, so I've had to slowly collect other bits for it over time and there's still some bits that I need to try and get hold of um, but I've certainly got enough to keep me going for now so um, uh, it's got the the one litre engine which will I'll do some checks on and that will just go in for now. Uh, I have bought a 1275 to strip down and build up. Uh, not sure what I'm going to do with that yet. Might go, might go 1380 or something with it. Uh, but we'll see how how uh, funds go and how much fun it is with the the one liter. Um, this isn't my first mini. Um, I own uh, a 1986 Mayfair. Um, which I've had for 13 years now. Um, it's currently in worse state than this one. Um, it's just as rusty as this one was, but it's got less body panels on it. Uh, that is that holds far more sentimental value to me, so I wanted to practice on this one um, and uh, and then see where we go. Uh, once this one's on the road, I can then crack on with that one. Uh, the plan for that one is to do something a bit more crazy. That won't be a, uh, it'll be sort of a weekend toy really. Uh, I'd quite like to go A Series Turbo with it, um, all stripped out as light as possible and go a bit mad with it. Whereas this one is, is one for sort of semi daily use um, and uh, that my wife can drive and, and take my little two year old out in and um, just have some fun in it really. Uh, I'm not not taking it too seriously. Um, I, I've been into minis for years. Um, 
but this is the first one that I've properly properly sort of got stuck into uh, I uh, as I say my other mini I had when I was 16 I did lots of tinkering around with it uh, did lots of modifications to it and stuff but nothing really serious um, with regards to uh, to building it or modifying it so um, uh, yeah uh, it's going to be an interesting project going forward I think uh, mainly because it wasn't stripped by myself so although I've been through and I've got a fairly good idea of what parts I haven't got uh, I think I'm going to lose time with regards to finding bits that I need uh, and finding bits that are broken and such like but it's all part of the fun so um, uh, I guess I'll crack on with it uh, and show you a bit of a walk around of what I've done so far uh, I'll insert some pictures uh, of the condition of the car when I bought it and uh, some of the bits I've done up to this point thought about doing YouTube videos before uh, but never really I always thought it's not really for me um, but uh, just sort of figured now it's nothing to lose if no one watches them no one watches them if someone watches them and gets a little bit of enjoyment out of them then great um, so I've um, been watching a lot of uh, Minimap TV's uh, videos they sort of inspired me quite a lot um, so yeah um, if you enjoy the video please like uh, subscribe uh, and comment if you've got anything you want to say or ask me any questions and uh, uh, feel free to comment so this obviously as you can see I've got it on my nice A-frame which makes it incredibly uh, easy to do the repairs on uh, currently doing work on the passenger side, uh, already done driver's side. Uh, so as you can see, uh, I've still got to uh, cut out this bit, uh, but fitted all new seal, um, which has been alright. I had to do a, pa a repair patch just to the inner seal, but other than that, it's been in very good condition. Uh, the car itself uh, is actually. Uh, in pretty good condition uh, considering its age certainly compared to my other one um, it's uh, there's odd bits of rust um, like seals obviously they just obviously go um, but a lot of the other common places bottom of the rear windows and stuff boot floor and everything is all uh, all pretty solid um, which is has been a nice bonus uh, all the inside is quite nice um, no major major rust uh, obviously I've still got lots of work to do on it so um, sort of just bear that in mind but I mean let's say apologies for the lack of light but. so I've got this panel up here to repair that's coming from mini spares hopefully tomorrow so repair all that but I mean the boot floors 
pretty good. Uh, it looks like it's there's a bit of surface rust on it. Uh, I'm going to attack it all with the uh, uh, angle grinder, get it all uh, all back to bare metal, and re-seam sealer it and uh, stone chip it all. Um, I've got, as you can see over here, I've got several engines that I've just collected over time as deals have come up. Uh, quite fortunate that uh, I've got space to keep it, so as I see stuff I just buy it. Uh, I've got a workshop as well which I've got quite a few, quite a few bits in as well, uh, which just all sort of helps to, uh, to bring the cost of the whole thing down if I can just buy stuff as and when I see it as a really good deal on eBay or whatever. Um, there's the Maniflo exhaust. Uh, a little bit unusual to have bought that brand new uh, this early on in the build but uh, it's a very specific system that I wanted uh, and it comes from Mini Sport. Uh, I know how useless they are with their stock uh, so I decided to order it early on knowing that I'd have a fairly long wait for it. Lo and behold two months later it turns up but at least I've got it. That was the main thing because they're not that common. So, uh, And this is the shelves of bits I've got for it. Uh, mix of old and new. Uh, I've been slowly doing orders to mini spares. Uh, just, you know, just as and when ordering stuff. Just so I've got it. Uh, I've still got a fairly large shopping list on mini spares. So uh, uh, again, I'll just keep keep ordering bits as and when I can. Um, got some a collection of subframes down here that I've collected. Um, and so there's two rears and a front there. Um, the rear that came with the car, been sat outside for a very long time, uh, is quite corroded, could be repaired, but um, decided to uh, uh, just see about finding uh, another genuine second hand one uh, and ended up buying another one front and another two rears uh, so I've got some spares um, but out of all of that lot I've got more than enough bits to make uh, a front and rear good subframe uh, certainly knowing that I've got another mini over the, uh, in my workshop that um, uh, that will also need subframes so none of it's going to go to waste um, have got a roll cage uh, to put in uh, I actually originally bought that one for my other Mini um, but I think I am going to try and fit it in here uh, although I will be keeping rear seats in this um, but at the same time I will be taking my uh, son and wife out in it so I do want it to be fairly safe um, so yeah that's, uh, that's about it for now um, just a brief overview of, uh, of the project and hopefully what's to come so, um,
Right, that's it for this episode. I um, hope you enjoyed it. hope it wasn't too boring for you. Uh, please hit the like button if you liked it. Uh, comment if you see anything I've done wrong or uh, say this isn't going to be a pristine car. I'm not doing it to be a concourse car. Uh, I just want it to be uh, a nice, fun, uh, usable car. So, uh, I know the welding isn't. 100% perfect, but it's uh, it's good enough for what I'm uh, I'm looking for. So uh, yeah, any tips, hints, anything like that, please just leave in the comments, uh, and please don't forget to su subscribe. Uh, and I'll see you next time.